I don't know what else he said in the show, but I have listened to the project. I haven't yet. Well, let's just say this. I got one word for it in a general sense. Trash. (laughs) 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live it's time! Bust three shots for the purge, never cheap shots for the purge. You taking cheap shots for the burn? We got the streets watching the purge, making we hot and return. Haters on the sideline, keep watching absurd. Keep a company with ops on the curb. We not for the herbs, like celery rocking the verbs. Brother, we clocking and earn, locking and turn. In a world where the most famous primetime comedy show is R. Kelly's parole board hearings. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to another, another, another purge of the BS. You already know what's going on. I got some BS for y'all today. So as usual, I got to call up the boys Bricks and Bravo. But before I do that, I also had to hit up my girl Ashley. Because there is too much BS going on within the last seven days for me to just unload this on my guys. So oh, I had to bring- us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> would you guys please uh, join me in a purge of the BS? Please. please, please. Of course. You guys ready to get unloaded on? Hello. You ready to get unloaded on? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. I, I, I'm cutting back for Lent. <laughs> Oh, I must apologize early then, sir, because I have a lot that has to be unloaded. I just it's a lot this is pent up and it must You're not making it any better. Right. Speaking of <laughs> For who? Speaking of nutmeg. Mm. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna get right into it. Because oh, this is a God damn you. <laughs> Stop Jesus. using the term guys. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> like, like, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Like, we're not gay. We're just a couple of open minded guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Relax. All right. All right. Dial okay. it back. All right. All right. All right. Tick, tick, tick. I brought the dial back. All right. In my former right. life, I was a fully Let's loaded. It's, it's just, it was too much. And I didn't know any other way to express the amount of BS that has been pent up. Well, so I was just rattling off at the mouth. Well, there you know, is right. one thing that I would like to say about that. What is that? I've got a fucking toll. That's so fun. <laughs> Did we even hit two minutes, well, man? Yeah. Yes, we have. Yes, All we right. Have. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah, knock it so, out in the post, man. We're good, baby. Before we, <laughs> before, before we get ourselves in trouble a little bit later, later talking about, you know, one of our being open minded guys. No, yeah, yeah, that's that's not an if, that's a when. We're talking about open minded guys, but we're we're gonna be talking about uh, Kanye. Oh, who is told uh, you? Yeah, we're gonna get into that. Okay, a little bit. Okay. We're not going to get into him. Oh, See, I changed it. I changed it. I said, but we're going to get into that. You had to say right. it anyway. I just wanted to make sure that you understood that I didn't say it. Speaking <laughs> of, uh, of of that, you know, I was a coxman in my former life. Here we go. Here we <laughs> there go. I was here before. Mm-mm. There Mm-mm. it is. Fully loaded coxman. I, <laughs> I didn't know what he meant, but he kept talking about a flesh flute. <laughs> so, <laughs> nope. Nope. I don't know what that mm. is. I'm not sure. What about the three dollar bill? <laughs> this is this early. This is what we're doing early. Hey man, okay. That's a huge bitch. I mean, we look, the truth. With, with with all due respect to the, the the lovely and beautiful Ashley, who's on here, Ashley, I got to get to my baddie in the bright lights of the week. I understand. Okay? That's fine. Okay, it's been it's it's been a huge story with the 
the Super Bowl, I know y'all heard about the after March where there might have been some there was some violence. Yeah. Some people got hurt yeah. in, in Kansas City. Mm-hmm. So, you know, special shouts to all those families who who had to deal with that. Hopefully they're working that out. But yes, yeah, people got hurt in the party. But the game was a good game. And during that game, I wanted to give a special, special shout to our honorary baddie, which is Miss Alicia Keats. So hold on, hold on, hold on, now, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Hold wait, on wait a second. What are, we, what are we talking about? You're going to tell us that some mm-hmm. people were hurt horribly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then get right into the trend. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're doing here? Hey, I, you know, I don't, I don't dwell. I don't dwell. I don't dwell. So we shouldn't either. Nothing Let's, heals wounds like a cat suit and good hips. Yes. Okay. Now, I, I wanted That's to, so fucking true. So this is this is Miss Alicia Keys. Now I'm sure you guys remember her from you know back in the day. She's been making music for a minute. Now she is 43, 44. Mm-hmm. She's in her 40s. Okay, and she looks really good for 40. Yeah. She played the Super Bowl. She looks and really good for whatever, yo. She looks yeah. really good. Period. Yeah. Jesus. And yeah. she wore makeup for this show. I was very right. impressed. You were impressed with Alicia's uh presentation visually? Looked, were you man, impressed with her? She sat uh, down at the damn P with at the it looked like red lips. Uh oh. She was no. playing the okay. lips. Yeah, like, like what was that? What that, that piano looks like an IUD, yo. Like I don't know what that <laughs> thing <right>. is. <laughs> it looks like like the fallopian tubes. <laughs> well, it's interesting. Let's let let me let me share something with you Speaking guys. Speaking of little tubes, <laughs> <laughs> you no. Know, if you if you weren't paying attention, the the biggest talk about Alicia Keys recently was her Super Bowl performance. Yeah, oh, she's yeah. I heard, about, I heard okay. about the remix. I heard yeah. about the remix. Well, they had to remix her vocals because apparently she she her voice cracked. This is fucking trash. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, oh yes, nice. Oh my God! Speaking right, of, wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Let it, let, 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 let it go. Let hold it go. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear what you have to say. I like to hear what you had to say. There, I was. I, well, I, I will only say I loved her outfit. I, mm. If I was gonna bet on anything involving a Super Bowl, if you had told me she was about to show up somewhere, I would have bet a lot of money she was gonna fuck it up. First note. Whoa, she did. Whoa. He didn't need her. Hey, he didn't, let's, let's, didn't need her. He didn't need her. 115 million well, people did not need my boo. There is other <laughs> shit we could do. Okay, well, hold on a second. No, now. I'm done. Hey, Before, hey say no, cool. No, 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 let her go. We're just getting let, started. We're let just her go. Started. That girl is on fire. Oh, let I her go. Livid. I was livid when I saw her. Right. I'm not even going to yeah, hold you. Good. That was a good one, Bravo. I, I caught that. I that caught was that. good. Girls on fire. Yeah, that was right. good, Bravo. That was... Well, look, here, here's the thing. I got, I got the clip. Huh. I got okay. the clip of wait, but I got the clip of the the so called the truth crack crack voice in oh, the nine it. edit. I'm gonna tell yeah. you exactly what I said when I heard it the first time. I yeah, said, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> ah, that's exactly what I said too. So let me bring that up for you real quick. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Pause. Guys. Y'all ready? I'm gonna go with pause. <laughs> hold on. What? <laughs> I just said, let me bring it up. Yeah, pause. I can't bring a, nothing up. Stop I can't even bring stuff up. You talking about an elephant? Knock walk? it off. <laughs> All right. Oh, That's it. <laughs> Let me bring it back for you one more time in case you missed it. <laughs> Some people want it all, but I don't. <laughs> so nonetheless. Hey, okay. have you seen she, have, that? Have you, wait, seen, wait, wait, wait. have you seen Never Ending Story? Remember Ludo, the King of the Rocks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia hit she hit the first note wrong. Okay. And and then it was pitchy with the, the people part. Yeah, I'm just saying, yo, lot. you only get it was, one chance. It was a lot. It was a lot. one chance to make lot. a first impression, baby. Well, here's the but thing. When she got up Switch. behind them lips, man, wasn't nobody worried about them pitchy ass notes. No. Yeah. Very, yeah. very and true. Then she went on to let Usher fondle her. Well, we're going to get to that Usher part as well. Usher will smash your wife, yeah. Because here's so? the thing. I think yes, he really he just wants. To, I think oh, he really yeah, just yeah, wants yeah. to rub your girl's ass. I really think he just wants to rub her butt. Nah, Did man, you see the clip of what? him putting his head on Nicki Minaj's ass and shit? Yes. That was some funny shit. He went out of his <laughs> way. Very. So, in the in the same night as the Super Bowl, right? So Swiss Beats, everybody was making fun of Alicia Keys because she cracked 
you know, voice crack. Right. And her outfit was great. Her outfit was great. And they went in on her. And so he came in and was like, y'all talking about the wrong damn thing. Y'all don't see the amazing dress and all of that. Y'all I don't notice the piano him. looks like a geriatric dragon. <laughs> I really don't know. It looks about like, that piano. feed me. Feed me, she. I mean, I don't know. That joint looks slick to me. I don't know. I ain't never seen it. The, aerial, the I, aerial shot of the whole outfit was actually really clever. But the second she opened yeah. that yeah. mouth, I was pissed. <laughs> well, let me let me say this. As, as far as Swiss beats, right? Him saying that people were worried about the wrong thing. I think he was worried about the wrong okay. thing. He needed to be worried about Usher all up on his yeah, leg. Ushering like your chick to the damn back. Let me, let me tell you what. He was Usher, hot dogging them your girl y'all. around me. Yo, I <laughs> said the same I'm thing. Not talking about true player for play. real. Huh? He was Swiss say it again. No, no, no. She know. She, she, she know. Say? He she was know, hot dogging it. them buns. <laughs> Yep. He yes. put his dick right straight in, between right up in him cheeks. Right there. Yep. Because that's what you do. Because that's what, what so, the fuck else would you do? I would do it. I don't even have a do. dick. What would you do? That's what you do. He didn't, so you he, know. Here's what he didn't do. You know that's what he you didn't do. Hunch I know that's up what under you do. Because that's dirtbag. That's somebody's wife. Right. But he mm. lightly went back there and pressed that hot dog between them buns. Right between them buns. He did put his hand gave, all on the hips and she looked far, back like You see how far pounds. away she took the mic? Because she knew she was going to say something ignorant. She kept yeah. that shit far like fucking Ray Charles over here with it. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I like that. I definitely well, agree that, he, that, that, that he, uh, he made an impression. <laughs> 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 to answer your question, though, Ashley, yep. you, you know, what I have done, my girl's sitting in this room right now. So mm-hmm. I'm going to go with, you ever heard of protected land? <laughs> then we, we can bury the body and they ain't coming to find it. <laughs> I get that. I ain't hot dogging nobody's buns, damn it. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing, guys. Yeah, I, bet, I bet when he, when he, when he, right there, right there. Okay, now no, answer, answer me this. That's when he got swallowed up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Answer me this. Now, As men, what part of this is the part that really got you blown? Is it the hot cross buns? Is it the hand in the front? Or is it the hand on the upper under the breast? Or is it, it or is it it's the chin to the neck? Biting, it's him biting his mm-hmm. goddamn bottle. That's, that's, right? that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh, I am in this motherfucker. That's what his face is saying. I am all up in these oh, cans. So really Can nobody do nothing. Can yeah, nobody do it. nothing. That he face, was, every yo, man knows that face. That right nigga there. was I'm firing sorry. off knuckle children, yo. Yep. So right. I yeah. feel like I feel like I felt like his hand across her in the front. I was like, oh, that's a bit much, sir. Mm-hmm. Yo, why, oh, you you should have seen he, the first one. Why and do then you think somebody he said a, something about her being pregnant or something after yeah, that. Yeah, think like, about what? it. Yeah, look. Like, that's why you gotta have a costume change into the roller skates and shit. That's what happened. Mm-hmm. He's dressed yeah, like man. semen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Let me take him off. I'm gonna be semen for the Super Bowl. But no, check, check this out. I have a, a genuine question, and it's great that I have a, a beautiful woman on here, too, so she can give the, the, the woman... Well, the answer right? is this. I'm not gay. I'm just an open-minded guy. <laughs> open-minded guy. No, 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 no seriously. Are it's you guys okay body. with... Because because Usher is known for doing this shit to people's wives, mm-hmm. yo. Don't let your wife around Usher is what I'm... Don't I leave your girl around me. You know me? Yeah. Yeah. He That's said it. For real. He said it. And then didn't Kiki Palmer damn near get a divorce because she went to one of his... <laughs> baby bitches? father went fucking crazy. Oh. So, so, to be fair, Usher to be fair, to the stop, baby yo. was a newborn and I just think everybody was on crazy wild new baby love hormones no, she came out looking great though Usher, <laughs> i don't care she had her butt cheeks out and all he said was yo you somebody's wife and, and mother could you you know let's show some fucking class is all he was saying you know what i'm saying she, she didn't need saying, a cl man. part <laughs> i mean I Kiki like- palmer's oh, husband oh, oh, that's yeah, what he yeah, was yeah. trying to say with that tweet that he put up I, he I, didn't demean her by name like call her a bitch or a hoe or nothing like that he just said yo you somebody's wife and mother you should just keep 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 that in mind that doesn't need to said. be posted he could have called her for that he could have just he should have done that right yeah but the problem is it was a response to her post she put up mm-hmm. her doing all that at the damn usher concert you see well, you gotta be, you gotta beat the calling. public to it. Mm. You gotta Man, at least that's see true. That's true. that. But like here's he's the thing. gotta here's the thing. see if, it from if her. He ca- from if he called and had a real conversation, he probably could have got her to take that shit down. 
No, nah, Usher is a career fondler, man. Usher ain't never. It, when was who's Usher ever been with for an extended period of time? He's Jelly. always single. So he's the most dangerous man around your lady. Right. No, he don't care. He was already, he had a baby on the side. He wrote a song about that kind of stuff. Usher is has never been hiding from the fact that he will try to fuck your woman if you let her get too damn close. Well, because really, she shouldn't be getting that damn close. I don't know. I think I'm, I, I will admit, I think I'm a little biased and I really mean it only because I worked for Chris Brown for so long. You want to talk about somebody that will get your bitch in front of you. <laughs> but that's my whole breaking point. news. <laughs> I've just been given a message that Usher got married that night yes. after the Super Bowl. He got married. He got the, they got the license right before the halftime. And then I think so they did everything up. right after. So it. hold up him feeling all over and, and, and hot dog and them buns was his bachelor party. I guess I got to do this now. It's for like this no, is my man. weird ass hall no, pass. That's fake news, yo. There's no way. No, no, no. But the but the but the, but the but the wedding pictures. Yeah, him and his wife. All their all like the two kids they have together. His other sons. Uh, you know whatever chapel thing in Vegas. Fuck. Mm-hmm. fuck. I mean, nope. the, well, the bigger picture is <laughs> <laughs> the bigger picture is, is you, he you got, got old man real truth. quick. Yeah. Well, the bigger picture yeah, is he got the um man, the, you the highest. Put your hands all on my lady and shit. Well, he got the highest. My lady wouldn't let me put my hands on. Yeah, he did. Hold on, like hold on, hold on. What she's you're right. Say? He's you're got right. the highest viewed uh, halftime of all time now. Really? Yeah. Like in history. Well, see, that's an interesting. Half metric. of that's the game, though. Half of that's really? the game. And I, let me let me explain. Nah, man. When Michael Jackson performed, yeah. we didn't have the same amount of people in this country. That's extremely true. That's you know extremely true. That's a hell we of didn't a have that, right we didn't have that many true. people with working, you know, TVs. That's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it just watched, in every room. I watched they Michael Jackson's halftime show today. Oh man, it's I did not, fire. It, it, it's it's good. It's really good. It was creative it. for the time. Yes, it, it was it was definitely cutting edge. How he jumped out of them speakers, you know. I, but anyway, I didn't realize he stood on the stage for like almost three minutes without That's saying right. anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's like the greatest this? motherfucker out here? Who's like Dick Tracy out there? <laughs> like, do, you, do you do you realize that like, and that's the thing too with the Super Bowl halftime, you don't get paid. That's a part of it. But that's artists, not true. Well, you get fifty you do the budget. They get a thousand dollars a day. There you go, and a fifty million dollar production budget mm. to use as you like. Mm. Mm. We know where but, that go. Right, but what I keep, what I find interesting. Yeah, drugs and hookers. Yeah, <laughs> you know but what I find interesting they, they about finance it. Finance the situations is <laughs> there's artists that are genuinely, like, truly so fucking big that they are never even thinking of giving you a drop of their show for free. That's mm. what makes Michael's crazy at the right. time because you were right. never seeing this nigga unless you were in Bucharest and got it cheap or somebody right. really had motherfucking money. Now, now here's another that's point. what makes that incredible. Here's another thing that made Michael Jackson so, <laughs> so wow for me. Like, I, I hated that song, C- Cure the World. I mean, I love the heal message the but it was, or Heal the World. And this is a boring ass song. But if you take any other star, do you think the people in that audience would have been like, yeah, we're going to hold all of, of these signs to represent the children nope. so perfectly? The whole no. stadium was like, oh, we in this? Yeah, yeah we but in that this. was a big it was a big song at the time. And it, it was a big movement with helping children. But he was stuff, still big you know? as fuck. So there's yeah. room yeah, to be and like he was big as fuck. Like with Michael Jackson. But y'all forgot about PD Pablo, though. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish, bro. I got to get this out up. there, bro. Yeah, get it out there. Let me get this out there. Yo. Think about it. The Super Bowl is it's not. It's not like a whole bunch of black folks there. It's black and white folks and Chinese. So, you know. So yes, it could be people that's like, man, I don't even fuck with Michael like that. But everybody but that had there. a sign. To put, you know, to make the little cutout to the yeah. children, everybody participated. Yeah, but they probably handed that shit out at the beginning of the thing. You know, it's the Super Bowl. I'm I sure wouldn't participate. I wouldn't be like, no, nah, fuck that. Fuck y'all people. I'm not putting up a sign. No, nah, fuck that. Give me the sign, yo. Yeah, yo. Tell me the cue. I'm part of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, well, let's, do let's, let's do the wave. Let's do the wave and shit, nigga. I'm with it. Well, it's well, the Super Will Bowl. the Jackson smile if I do this? Will Michael look at me? Well, then let's... <laughs> Nigga, let's now get y'all, busy. And, and, and y'all know who won the Super Bowl this year? Yes, Taylor Swift. Yeah, 
Oh, that's who the fuck won the NFL and shit this year. And the I'm NFL, not buying that. No, no. Nah, I'm telling you what they bought the shit out of it. They bought the shit out of it. And I'm going to tell you why. Every time there's a Chiefs game, she on the camera, just like she on the team. She's just the fucking crowd member. I don't want to see her. But you know what they knew? The people that watch Taylor Swift don't fucking watch football. So let's bring that crossover of, of viewers into watching the Chiefs game and watching football because Taylor Swift is here. But if it's she not, was there and they never showed the first, her, nobody would fucking time. care. What about the dude on the Saints who was dating a Kardashian chick? Yo, it's not the first time. So dude just, on the Saints. You're talking about Reggie Bush like 12, yeah, 15 fucking years just, ago. Exactly. But all, but 12, all I'm saying is it's not ago. the first time it happened. Everybody's acting I like know, this is brand I don't new. like this shit when I see it. That's yeah. why it's on the purge of the BS. Yeah. I'm tired of that shit. When I go to watch football and just early pause. I go to see niggas hit each other. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't go to see Taylor Swift. I don't. I don't. I don't give a fuck where she. I want to see niggas hit each other. Yeah, the, that's what I want. How when much, I watch how much did you see her during the game? How much did you see her? More during than the game? I, how much did more I? More than I more than you want to. More than you want to. Want to? Yes, yeah. of course. But you know how much time she was actually on camera? No. Tell us, Bravo. About a minute and fifteen seconds. I don't give a fuck because Co- football, collectively a minute you, and 15 yeah, collectively. I'm talking but about you during the game, though. No, after the game, that's different. Second, no, 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 I'm talking even that fuck after the game. I'm talking about during the game. She hasn't run a play. She hasn't sent a play down from the booth. <laughs> she has nothing to do with the fucking game. Yeah. Why do we give a fuck other than maybe a touchdown? Okay, and they want to show the people celebrate, and I get that. But other than that, I don't want to see this motherfucker. I don't. Yeah, I agree. You act like, 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 like the you act like the NFL ain't about because, money. Because if they you like the if NFL they kept, about money, if they kept showing Fuck Travis, Swift, if they yo. kept showing, no, but I'm with him on that. I mean, I've always been. I'm not into her, but if they kept showing you Travis neither. a shit ton at the Grammys, I'd be livid. Exactly. So, right. Like, but who I gives get, a fuck? I get what, that. But you, you acking like the NFL ain't about that nigga money. At the Grammys? No, they, they, they want to see saw, Taylor at the Grammys. But, 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 but on, the man. difference it's a business. is football mm-hmm. is family and American fucking family. First of all, American they're not even families, a family. These niggas ain't, right, ain't right, even married yet. It just, it just, it no, no, just no, no. I'm talking about the viewers. Like somebody you don't like. Oh, viewers, yeah, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let Bravo talk. I ain't heard the man talking. All, in all I'm saying, I'm all I'm saying is like this shit is about money. It's a business. It's all this shit, all the stuff that we get locked into and that we give our hearts to and all love this shit. They don't give a fuck or even know who we are. They talk exactly. about getting eyeballs on the screen and Taylor exactly. Swift is the biggest star. So why the hell not? Bars. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Thank you. So why Thank the you. hell not? Thank and, but 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 here's a, here's the same thing. They still show other celebrities throughout the game. Uh, oh, it's such and such is here. You know what I mean? I nah, didn't know Engelbert nah, Humperdinck nah, was in the crowd. Nope. You know what I mean? I, like, I, I, I don't though. agree, yo. I don't. I no, because but when they no, show I'm not, up, no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that it's to the Fuck same Taylor degree. Swift, yeah. But they are showing other celebrities as well. It's just that she's the biggest shit going right now. So why no. not juice it no. for no. free? You know can what? I can I speak? Can I just money. really? Go can ahead, I just respond ahead. to that? I just want to add to it. They do show other celebrities, but ninety percent of those celebrities have to do with the fucking sport you're watching. They no, are celebrities because now nah, they showing Not they show Super a Hall of Famers. They showing Hall of Famers like Super Bowl is different, but I'm saying that's like what I'm talk- that's the, what I'm talking the about. Chiefs Super Bowl. all year since he's been dating fucking Taylor Swift. Every time you watch a game with them, you got to see her ass all the fucking time. And I'm not, I'm not against Taylor Swift. I'm just saying she doesn't have shit to do with football. Good sir, so why you do literally I have to see said her? fuck Taylor Swift. I'm just reminding you, <laughs> and I mean that when it comes to football, she has no. Other than maybe making sure she gives Kelsey some good pussy the night before to make sure he's ready for the game. Uh, can, she has no... But can I ask you this? Bro? You know what I'm saying? But can Come I on, ask man. you this question? Ooh, yes, please ask. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck wow. is wrong with this nigga? That's your man. That's, That's your man. man. Who ass is this? Oh, man, wow. is this? I would like to thank the Academy. First and foremost. Look, I would thank God, but he thanked me. Mm. Mm. Right. You know and what? Our, We're going to get into some people that think Swift. like that. <laughs> 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 you know what, Bravo? That's a huge bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah. Guys, I got something for y'all. Mm. You are not going to believe this shit. It is literally fucking nuts. 
Man. Oh. Wait, what? Why? Why is it doing that? <laughs> I don't mean it as a verbal. I don't mean it as a, a, a verb. There's no action. There's no action. No. That's so stupid. stupid. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> right off the top. See? Right off the top. He just went, took it right there. I was just going to say something because it was a catchy phrase considering the content that I was about to display. <laughs> But he shat upon it so quickly. (laughs) I was just just wondering, how does that kind of action occur? I was wondering, there's no hole there. So how does it, how does it fuck the nuts? You can't handle the truth. You know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to show you the situation. We're going to discuss the situation and then you'll understand why it was fucking nuts. Okay. Jersey Shore. Are are you with me on this? (laughs) Ashley, are you? Are you with me? Because Bob I'm, I'm with you. prepared to shit on everything today. I'm yeah, with it's you. a hobby. It's a we hobby. Got I'm good at now, it already, you got to remember what type of energy you brought into the situation. <laughs> <laughs> you was angry at that white woman. You know what? We're not going to talk about her anymore. Ooh, oh, oh, this is a Her time dude? is over. Yes, yes, I know this sir. one. You already know. Yes. So let's 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 change my palette from that last topic that we spoke of previously. Okay. Let's be nuts. angry and about something else. Be, yeah, and okay. I'm gonna purge some other BS. Okay. Okay. I want y'all to check this clip out. Y'all see this, right? You see it on your screen. Yeah. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Go. All right. So this is the cop walking to his car over here. Fired. Oh my goodness. Shots fired. Oh shit! Oh, now, oh, say, hey, when you stop, can I, can I, can Yo. I bring something down to him? Can I Hold bring on, something down me, to him? Let me break it down to him. Oh, oh yeah, you, you, got it, break you got it, down? it, you got it, you got it. You, you, I know, I, I know the whole situation. You know the situation. So yeah. let me help those that don't. The one, the yeah. viewers that might be seeing this story for the first time. What you saw initially was a cop walking to a car and he starts firing at something. It turned out an acorn fell on his car while he was next to it. And he thought somebody was shooting at him. Oh my gosh. And, and, and he thought he got hit because it bounced off the car and hit him, right? So he's shooting at his own car and. There is someone in the fucking car. Oh, the yes. no. They detained somebody that, in the backseat. The, the, in the backseat with handcuffs on, and all of a sudden, this cop unloads a whole clip, clip. into the car. That's the bullshit we got. No, wait, there's, there's, so more, this, there's more. There's more. Whose man's is that? Wait, no, there's more. Yo. That, this is more. This is what you don't know, because I heard this story and I went and I read it up. The partner. What's going on? The partner came out started shooting too and started okay. shooting with him didn't even know what they and were shooting said, at yeah, I, the yeah I think I, she said yeah i think i see him and she shot a student at the car as well right knowing there's somebody wow. in the car it's a miracle he didn't get he lived, hit he lived. He lived. He lived. okay yes. ahead, that was my question we've been going on for damn near yeah. five minutes no, dude did did not get hit. Did... no he didn't get hit now he can accept the clip nobody died bricks everybody's okay but the one good thing about this whole shit is that dude is guaranteed the bag yes. oh yeah he is no pause gonna needed. make out <laughs> he is definitely gonna make out on that oh, yes. but here, here's, here's right. one thing so so fortunately for the rest of the fucking public this officer has resigned yeah. without even the investigation that would have come along with good, this of course good. the department's yeah. gonna have to pay for whatever but here's the thing if the first thing that you do when an acorn drops on your car is pull out and unload an That's entire crazy. clip, you should not in be your a own cop. Car? I'm just saying. At your own fucking car. The no, dude was handcuffed him. in the back. The dude was handcuffed in the back of the wow. squad car. That's so scary. Could you imagine, imagine being his, that guy? Could you imagine his <laughs> uh his going his uh you know like press conference if he said, hey. It was a goof. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was just a goof. And that's and that's what it was to him. Mm. He really thought something happened. He thought he got hit. He had other police shooting. It's the crazy cr- part of him thinking this nigga, like thinking he got hit. That's what drives me. Like, that's what I'm confused right. by. Like, why are you dropping like you're in fucking knob? Yep. The dude and did he, a dive he, he roll. Got- and he thought he got hit because he's out of shape and it hurt when he got up. <laughs> <laughs> 
So they this never is, this is yeah. our finest, right? That's Where is this from? Bitch. Oh, I hate to say it, but this is from Florida. It's of a course. Florida. Florida. Yes. Of course it's Florida. Yeah. Damn it. Come on, <laughs> you know, I try not to be so hard on Florida because, you know, I got a, a personal love for Florida, right? Because I, I enjoy the place. I do. I enjoy the, the, the weather and the, the women look good and stuff. You know, it's a nice spot. It's got a lot of places that you can go visit and have fun. I don't know, but man. Some of the weirdest <laughs> stories come out of Florida. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's more like, like that. Yo, I have something. Hey, don't don't talk shit about Florida, Listen. even though we got some more Florida shit coming up. Yo, can you tell hear y'all us, about. nigga? Listen, I have something that I'd like to talk about, bro. Please tell me about so it. So the question is asked, do you believe that America is trying to dumb us down? So I thought about this question. And then I thought, well... If black folks are smart or, we're, you know, smart, we created all of these things. I mean, some of the smartest people of our you know, smartest inventions of our time were made by black folks. So <laughs> if you don't believe that Uncle Sam is trying to dumb down this race, hmm. but you will sing Molly Percocets, then the question you have to ask is, where are we getting these Percocets from? Niggas don't make Percocets. They don't. They ain't cooking them up in South America. China. It's China. That is true. China? You blaming China for the shit? It's big no, farm. No, it's it, big dude, farm. Dude. <laughs> dude uh, it's yes, big it is big farm. Yes, it is big pharma. But, however, it has been a whole oh. crackdown and the Sackler family is is getting the business right now. Well, so yeah. the, the reason all why all I say this. Of, okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm saying this. I just saw Krishan had a baby. I'm not saying that child has that alcohol syndrome. Uh huh. But what I am saying is, hey, you if you guys. smoke crack, shut up, you shut smoke the crack fuck up, and have <laughs> and have a baby, you're gonna uh-huh. have a crack baby, right? Uh huh. Yes. So approved, imagine right? if two parents are hooked on all type of Percocets and stuff, and they create a child. Imagine what that could potentially do to that baby. It'll fuck the baby up. We know this. Right. That's so why you don't do drugs flooding, and shit when you're if, pregnant. If, if, right. But what I'm saying is if we are flooding these projects and these areas with all of these pills and stuff like that, imagine what it's doing to the next generation. Agreed. The next generation is fucked up already. We, we've been talking about oh that. That's part of what it this is, is about. But I what saw, I'm saying is think about their generation that's coming. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, oh. it, it's been it's been going it's been going because uh, our parents, to fuck one of them our parents had up. lead and gasoline and then paint. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We had Molly, we had MDMA and all that kind of shit. Now they and have lead. Percocets and opioids and lead. Yes, and lead. Well, y'all you know didn't what do mean? It's always gonna be that. a there's always gonna be a mass <laughs> pull. Oh, and crack. At our no, generation, yeah, crack was great. So, Continue. Continue. so, uh, so I'm just saying, it's always going to be that. There's always going to be the powers that be that flood the 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 have nots with shit to, to to occupy them and to keep them out of competition. It's well, always going to be that way. You know what? We can't. I'm not even going to go there because that goes against the shit we were talking about in the other episode about you know the generation before us in the baby boomers episode, mm-hmm. right? We can't subscribe to the thought that there's something that just ominously keeps us under a glass ceiling because there's too many of us that have achieved shit that we can be like, well, that person ain't that much, you know, ain't that much different than me. So why can't I do that? Yeah. So we don't worry about that in the same way. We, We don't we can't. Because it, it, the second we talk about it, now we pull in the race card. It may or may not be true, but it's hard as fuck to prove. So unless somebody literally says, no, I'm not doing this because you're black. You, it's like you can, you can say that that's it, but they can always come up with a reason why it's not. I, I, I differ. So I can't defer, even say it no I defer, more. I defer. I don't say that uh, I don't think about it. I accept it and do better. Personally. Right. Exactly. That's like, I tell you which is exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm at saying. At the end of the day. Oh, you, you had something to say? Go ahead. Mm-mm, no, I didn't. Yeah, I was I'm just going to say, at the end of the day, uh, if, it, if, it, if this is purposefully happening, happening to us, then, I mean, the only thing left to say is... That is some pretty fucked up shit. You don't really grind <laughs> my gears. Can you say what the fuck did Thank I you. do last there's night? A, no, bad. There's bad a... Bad idea. Don't do it. <laughs> there was a yep. interview I saw recently. I guess it was like Gilly and uh, Wallow. And the question that they asked each other was, what's an aspect of hip hop that you're disappointed by or something to that effect? 
and one of them said glorifying drug addicts like i hate mm. i hate that like yeah that ended up becoming a piece of it like everybody being on lean everybody being on perks that being a, like a glorified mm. piece of hip-hop now which is very different than our generations in general yeah but we glorified the dealer first and then there's that no we didn't glorify the dealer first we, glor- we yes, glorified we smoking blunts the word no. blunt. Oh my God! I mean, I'm not saying it didn't we come with it. Don't, don't get me wrong, bricks. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm giving you that as well because I remember Philly blunts and all that shit was like yeah, a it's thing. It's been about being a dealer, you know, now. and yeah. Optimos and blah blah blah, and everybody was talking about that. But before that, we glorified oh, that's right. the yep. dealer. Yep, well, I, I I have a First. I have a question for y'all. Then it became we were using drugs. That was what it started with weed. Then over 20 years or so of time, now it's everybody's on lean and this and yeah. that. But back in the day, remember when well, hold on, hold on. was talking about they hmm? smoke lace weed back Sniff then, like coke, in the man. song. Yeah, and sniffing coke and shit like that. They were talking about it. It just wasn't it wasn't glorified per se yet. Well, What's go your ahead question? Ask what you my, my my question I was gonna ask y'all is who's the first artist that really enlightened who was the first hip hop artist that really enlightened y'all to drugs? I'm going to remove the message as a cliche answer. Right. To using them? Using them? Mm. The awareness of people using them? I you know, I'm gonna be real. I, I really didn't start paying attention to it. And it was probably because of where I was age wise, mm-hmm. but around the time when like Wu-Tang yeah, and Onyx Wu-Tang. and shit was mm-hmm. out. Okay. Yeah. Wu-Tang and Onyx yo, era. Yo, right. Niggas and that, smoking 40, niggas drinking 40 and smoking Right, this, right, right. Yeah. Okay. We had a drink bricks. You might remember this. We had a drink at college that was literally Wu-Tang. Kool-Aid and beer mixed nah, together. It was, it was Hawaiian heavy on punch. Well, it was still <laughs> fucking Kool Aid and beer. Punch and that, those beer? Are two, that's definitely we, different drinks, yeah. 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 I mean, I'm, an, I'm an together. Incredible Hulk age, so mm. that's, <laughs> right. that's and we had that too. We, we had see, that too, but they just didn't have a lot of money. Yo, that so. dude was drinking that damn Wu Tang at that goddamn uh, concert. The Def yes. Jam was it? Def Jam. It was Method Def Man Jam with somebody. And, and Method Jay-Z Man, Red Man, yeah. Wu Tang. Everybody was in yeah, there, and we were drinking 50th? that shit too. That boy, I'm gonna say his name starts with a K, man. This dude was like, he, he was gorilla strong and, and, <laughs> and short but huge, and mm. he was throwing up that red shit all on the steps in the hall. He wasn't a drinker. Let's just start with that. He yeah. was trying to impress I don't us. Give a damn. By the way. <laughs> That's funny. And I, I definitely know who you talk about. He was a cool ass dude. Yeah. And we. You know, especially myself. None of us I, told just, him to drink that goddamn Wu Tang. I did. Oh, to answer said, your question, I Ash, to, I to was answer, about to, to say. To answer your I question, was, Ash, I would say it was brand Nubians for me. Okay. Because because mm-hmm. uh, that was the first time I heard mm-hmm. straight up crack. The, the crack man, the crack man, they came up to my door. But he didn't talk <laughs> don't about smoke doing jumps. it. No, but uh, I, I don't said, smoke drugs so much. It. I don't. But smoke. he was talking about the lady that he was dealing yeah. with. Yeah. Now let's let's say so we were the era of praising the drug dealer and smoking blunts, and then I think it was Bone Thugs and Harmony mm-hmm. came out with a record about uh, what is it? Uh, what's the, what's the, the sex drug? The, uh, man, the pills. Ecstasy. Before, oh, ex- ecstasy. They came yeah. out with a song about ecstasy, mm-hmm. and how mm-hmm. great it was, and that was the. It was almost like the door opening. You, you shouldn't open this door. And they opened it. And then, I so that's, but, so but that, in, but, in your but that opinion, goes to the point. That goes to the point of 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 like uh, the, a couple of shows ago, of like who dropped the ball or whatever. When we didn't control the levers, when hmm. we didn't step up and push the music out, what music got pushed out? You know what I mean? Because because the community itself, when the first person came out doing that stuff, when we were running it or trying to run it and doing the shit at parties, nobody wanted to hear that shit. But then, you know. They they won. They won by just flooding the market with that bullshit. You know I mean? Here's the thing. Who really? Because we, we can go. Yo, this shit back. is like an episode of Pootie Tang, if you think about it. You remember that movie? Yeah. They were pushing all of that bullshit. All of the bullshit. The What's the other one? Um, what was that? Hollywood Hustle or Hollywood Shuffle? Hollywood Shuffle. Hollywood Shuffle. Hollywood Shuffle. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Oh, so so we've been shit. known that we're getting exploited because of our. I guess easily malleable minds. I can I see that. Your it. character die in the script. <laughs> <laughs> then it's a good script. Hold up, yeah. bro. This has nothing to do with this talk, but 
Call them who you are. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, my God. It had to be said. Too good. Happy, to said. happy Black History Month. Yeah. Right? God bless Robert Towson. Yeah. So happy Black History Month. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, Bobby Towson will be called. I got it. I got to bring you a, 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 a clip that was sent over to me okay. uh, regarding a very horrible idea mm. because, you know, we we tried to find ways to find good ideas out of bad ideas, but we stopped trying to do that because some shit is just stupid. Yeah. So you have to just let it be what it is, which is some dumb shit that somebody did that happened to get caught on film. But they did a whole news story about a side <laughs> in Boston. Okay. And I just wanted y'all to see the shit. And if you cannot laugh, that's on you, Bricks. Nobody gets seriously injured, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love it. He's ready. It almost hurts to watch. It's like he's shot out of a cannon. This slide is meant for kids only. Posted warning signs say not intended for adult use and five to 12 year olds only. Oh, but that's not stopping this. grown ups from trying it out. In fact, they're talking to it. <laughs> <laughs> Down. <laughs> How did the child go down that? As you can see, when kids go down the slide, it seems pretty placid. <laughs> oh my God. Not so much for adults. Damn. Now being dubbed the cop slide and it's become a bona fide slide. That's a big fucking slide. It's on Google Maps. Online wow. reviews suggest you get there early. The line can be long. So guys, <laughs> I just have to know, would you get on it? Would you try it out? Yes. 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 No. Yes. No, sir. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm about to book a vacation just to go there, this, yo. This is the segment is bad ideas. Yes. That's the topic. Yeah. And yo. we're trying to find these are bad ideas. But these people <laughs> Yo, why did the dude look dead when he came out the mother? <laughs> <Yeah. way? laughs> he looked like a and cadaver. Boom, 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 boom. It's just so loud. I, it's I'm so trying loud. to figure out how he's so face violent. down, backwards, yeah. sideways. He was lipless yeah, after that. That's accident. a big yeah. fucking slide, by the way. And that was a police officer. That was a, so we, we didn't have a couple of <laughs> interesting police on yeah, this he episode. He lost a couple bullets going down. <laughs> yeah, 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 his whole clip. His, yeah, his, whole clip. his pager <laughs> fell off. Shout out to the pager. <laughs> Shout Yo, out to the cameraman. Be, yeah. The cameraman did not fail on that one because no. you know how sometimes they'll miss them on the shot when they come right. past. The whole so he all, stayed, all he in stayed frame. Winning. I wish I could have right. seen the the uh, the interview before the slide. You know, my name is Chief Moose Gruder. And, uh, <laughs> I heard a lot about this slide. Yeah, exactly. I ain't afraid of no damn slide. I'm a grown man. Watch what I do. Yeah, this is I'm gonna go down backwards. <laughs> now watch this Face drive. Down back. Yo, you know the nigga. You, you know the nigga that climbed up. Even when they was having that goddamn milk crate uh, challenge. Oh yeah, 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 yo. <laughs> the one that was saying. <laughs> he when he busted his ass, that motherfucker was probably at the top of that slide. Like, look here. Yeah. That last turn is a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know so, it. Well, I, I I forgot to get the actual when vote. So how many down. of us said we would do it? <laughs> I'm going. All I'm right. going. All right. So that's a three to one. I would try it out. I might. I just, would try you know, it out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my Mike motorcycle pads on no. though. <laughs> Didn't Bravo tell us like some episodes back? The wisest man in the room learns from other people's mistakes. Exactly. That's why I'm going with pads. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen how it ends up. Yeah, you better take a card funny. piece. Now, let me let me mess let me mess your head up a little bit with this, right? Hmm. Scientifically, big adults and kids should fall down this thing at the same rate. Yeah. I wouldn't because that's how gravity is supposed to work. I would think the weight difference has got to make a mess. I would think that so last as well. turn is a doozy. It pulls you right that, out that, of there land on your neck. <laughs> that, that, that same newscast, <laughs> that same newscast that had a physicist on there. At the end, he's saying, I need to do more research. Because <laughs> right. he couldn't because figure it out. We couldn't figure out. It, it's, <laughs> it's not like they grease it up or anything. It's any different. It's just for some reason, 
<laughs> when a big person go down there, bitch, that's why they had to put a sign up. Yeah. Like, if you over 12 years old, don't go down this motherfucker. <laughs> don't pick up. <laughs> that motherfucker looked, that motherfucker looked like, like he went thing. through the seventh circle of hell before he came out that Rob time. Like he seen was dead already. Shit. He looked over <laughs> his girl and said, book the ticket. <laughs> but here's, oh. No, but here's the other thing, too. This is the other thing that's important about that clip that we keep skipping over. The they white jeans saying, she had on? Not just that. Okay. <laughs> They Let's said the check. cop used it as a shortcut. If you go back, do you see how big that actual <laughs> fucking slide is? Yeah, like how yeah, tall it yeah, is? It's way up there. Like that it's shit way, looks I, I like a shortcut there. shoots in fucking ladder slide. It looks yeah. way bigger in person. Like it looks like it, <laughs> you can gain enough speed to really get that ass. Just saying. It looks bigger than... <laughs> Yeah, you know we didn't show all of his girth some, on camera. <laughs> we've had some doozies. <laughs> we've had some real doozies oh. on the show regarding uh, bad ideas, but that's that's definitely that's top there. five. Took yeah. Dude, yo, yo, yo what that five. dude was face down and looked dead when he came out. It was yeah. almost <laughs> everybody had that. Pr- you saw how many clips of those were all different people. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the same guy repeatedly. It was different people did the same thing and got the same result. That's what I always of a same. That's what I always imagine a baby making factory looks like. <laughs> like they just <laughs> just out that them out. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will, this one I will came take, out too fast. Let's send this one to the hood. But but <laughs> the one thing that was that I that I do know about that slide is go, 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 go. God. <laughs> and bless a hot mess. Amen. Oh, we, we, we can't we, 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 we turn around, ladies for me, please. Basically, I'm just gonna give you the Kanye quote. I don't have to put it in front of you, but you'll see it. But he basically said that the media wants to crucify him like they did Christ. Ooh, no, no. And he didn't say that just recently. He's been been saying saying that. that. Mm. And most recently, I don't know if you guys have heard, but he's been going through it. Like he really is to the point where I'm almost like worried about him. I hate to say it that way. Well, he Mm. just made 19 million. And so I think now he's about to get, did he? Mm Mm-hmm. What do you do? Fought? Well, here, here's the other piece of it is he's he's he tried to do a live stream release on his new Vultures project. Mm-hmm. And they cut the live stream because they were worried that he was making anti-Semitic statements to which he hadn't made yet, in my opinion. He yes. just hinted towards yet. something. Wait a second. He hinted towards something that eh, it was one of those. Mm-hmm. He didn't directly say anything. He identified himself. So that would be like me saying I'm an asshole, right? Okay. Or a person saying I'm a racist. That's not necessarily hate speech at that it, point because they're yet. self-identifying. Was this on Instagram? Have you looked into the, icon, like, I, uh, the iconography of what those vultures really, really look like? Maybe like in 1945 or so, with those vultures Ooh, that he's using as his logo. I, I, you see, I, I see, I see what he's trying to say. But Bravo, you said it. He has to make the message more digestible. First of all, he got cut off on a live stream. On what now, platform did he get cut off? Well, that was on whatever the streaming service was. He was doing a live release of his new vultures project, which basically was like a live listening party is what he was doing. Mm -hmm. And the second he came on stage and said, I'm anti-Semite, they cut the whole live feed. Now, I don't know what else he said. I don't know what else he said in the show, but I have listened to the project. I haven't yet. Well, let's just say this. I got one word for it. In a general sense, trash. I listen. I listen to every track. I listen, I, I listen to, to every, I listen the whole thing, and I actually went to the liner notes. I saw the samples, and I have to admit that if I had to sum it up in a word, I'd say, "Yeah." <laughs> Damn, damn. Trash. Trash. Well, yeah, yeah. You, let me let me say this because I'm. It's just my opinion, and you know I've been listening to Yay for years. Mm. There's maybe one song that gives me like a classic Yay feel. Okay, I think that was um, Burn or something like that. It was all right, but one he's doing too damn much. He's still doing just luxury rap in a way, and I'm kind of over that with him. Mm. 
When it comes down to the, it, is like, this the album with the song where he's going something about da, 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 talking about the uh, chicks with big breasts or something like where it's just like yes, rip- yes, yes, and yes. Trish. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Why? Because. I especially hate the song where he remixed the Backstreet Boys. I uh, think that was stupid. You know what? No, I'm Bricks, not here for didn't it. You, you know, Bricks made a song one time years ago. But that's what I Bricks made that. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. And I'm just <laughs> that's trying different. to, that's I'm trying to equate. Yeah, but I'm I don't trying like to he equate. started the conversation with Trash and now some Bricks. Bricks wait, made this. If you allow me to finish. Well, Paul. If you allow me to complete. If you allow me to go until completion. Then you will receive what it is I have to give you. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. that shit. Bricks is saying he appreciated the song. And I honestly, that's my dude. I don't know if it's sarcasm, but let me say this. I do know that this same person made a song called I Want to Fuck You in Your Face. Mm. Oh, yeah, I remember problem. that. Yeah, yeah was and it was one of my favorite songs. <laughs> <laughs> it right, and it's to the point that record. I remember it. It's to the point that I remember right. it to this day. That's, That's hilarious. D- okay? Disney almost so bought I that song. I understand why a person who makes that type of song would think that I like chicks with uh, chicks and big breasts and big asses are hard to find as a hook. That was the well, hook it to was the song. A, it was like a it, it, what's that Sally sold seashells at the seashell. It was like a tongue twister. It was like it is what it is. What it is. The beat was hard, come on, man. Man, the beat was all right. I gotta listen. Right. I gotta listen now because I still haven't well, listened. You, to you, you, well, I'm gonna put the link. You selling in the, tickets in right the video now? Description. Know it. Who me? Yeah, you talking about the record is trash, but people know it's yay. They gonna go listen to it. I mean, I did support that brother, man. Whatever. He's selling twenty dollars shoes and clothes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now that's that's the interesting thing that gives no excuse to trash. So, so, so what was so what was that song about that you were talking about? I I don't I, something something about uh big big I I, I can't Every call. Can you? <laughs> hey, he's, he's a big ass right no, man. No, let me let me let me let me let me let me dive all the way something. in. No, you said something earlier. You said he's in a bad way right now. Yeah. Expound on that. Like scared for his life. Or? <laughs> yeah, bankrupt, scared well, for his life. No, no, still. It's, it, 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 let me let me uh expand on that. Correct. You're right, right. I didn't expand on all of that. I started with how trash that fucking album is because that starts, that's bad right there. If your music ain't hitting, which is your bread and butter at the end no, of the day, it's because the shoes. No, it's not just the shoes. Because he can't get yeah, you don't tour got that no dates. More. He can't even get yeah, some of these to arenas book aren't his letting show. Them. Yeah. So he can't make his money by doing shows if they won't let him get the arena to book his show. And Apple like, pulled his new album. Say yeah. what? So, Apple pulled his new album. Apple and Spotify, they didn't pull his album. I think Spotify still has it, but Apple hasn't. No, Spotify don't have it. I checked it out. They Damn. don't have it either. I found it on YouTube Music still. Okay. Wow. And if you play it on certain forms, they have edited versions of it. Like he has this line where he said something about how could he be anti-Semite because he just because he just oh, I'm referencing his own quote. No, I I'm know, not saying it. Just saying it. But just he, he basically alluded to the fact that it would. It, it, it's almost, to, in my opinion, it's like if a person who was not black said, "There's no way I could be racist because I had sex with a black girl." Uh, That's basically mm. what he's trying to say. My just best friend is kind of black. Yeah, that one of those kind of statements. So it's like, come yeah, on, but dude. Slave That's, masters used to have, you know, here we go with the slave masters. With, uh, exactly. The, the, exactly. The help. And was that a relationship? I don't know. No. Maybe some of was it was the woman protected. Was she? Was she taken care of? Like some really? No. Were. She was just. Until the slave master's wife came around, then she well, go, right. We're talking about Kanye, who also says slavery was a choice. We're not going to get into that whole thing. Well, mm-hmm. this is the thing, man. He, 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 I guess he's got like a pot type of complex. He thinks he's pot. He knows he's going to die. He's he thinks gonna fall he's on Jesus. School. Yeah, he, he said something Jesus. the other day in one of his rhymes. Where can was, we? Can we just? Can we just say that he has mental illness? Can we just say that? And just and then look at it in that lens because we that's my whole help. You know, he needs help. See, I would like to say that, but at the same time, I won't. And I'm going to tell you why. If everybody is doing the norm, right, for us to say, okay, he's normal, she's normal, they are normal. 
then we are all brainwashed because that's not how society started. You were your own person when this mm-hmm. thing kicked off. This nigga's wildin' and I'm under the, the standards out, that we have been taught since we were children. <laughs> the standard, the, the no, moral standards, I don't, I don't, though. I, I don't like, need why do you to, have to? I don't need him I'm, to be. Sorry, I don't need him to be brainwashed. Mad, I don't man. need him to be an automaton. I don't need him to be, you know, what I'm saying MC Milk Toast. I just need him to get back to the level of understanding reality when he college dropout days. How you know can what he mean? get it, back to that kidding. reality as a billionaire? Nah, man. No, 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 no way. He can. He can. He cannot. Ain't no way. Can. It's possible. It's possible. No, it's possible. It's, nah, it won't nah. be easy. Kanye is so rich, he lost his accent. Who? <laughs> Chicago, He's from where? Fucking Chicago, yeah. Broken jaw. Right. Who? <laughs> but see, that's the that's the that's the thing that I'm starting to have an issue with. You said broken jaw. <laughs> no, no, no. Remember, uh, we, a few episodes ago, right? We were talking about uh, I can't even think of the guy's name right now. Light skinned guy His with name dreads. Was he Quentin was talking Sa- about. No, it was Lee Fogel Mud. No, I, I I remember it later. But he was talking about um, Rick Ross and the other. Oh, MC. see, something, something, something deaf, deaf, something. I don't know. You, the kid with the dreadlocks. The, the, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. K, K1 or KD something. Something like that. Yeah, something like K-Diff that. Yeah, yeah. or something like that. I was, I was making fun of these deaf just like diff. Was it C-Diff? So, C-Diff or something like that? C-Diff. No, but whatever. We don't remember his name, but I remember what he was talking right. about. Yeah, telling them niggas to stop rapping about D1. 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 That's what it was. D1. Yeah, that's Paul. what it was. Okay. So yeah, D1. Yeah. I thought he was, was talking Jeff's his kid. shit, and he basically was saying to you know Rick Ross and some of the other you know currently relevant but older rappers that they need to step their game up as far as the content mm-hmm. because now they're old enough that they don't have to push mm-hmm. you know this bullshit because they one they're older and two they got money yep so you don't have to do that anymore to like get your position you can kind of do what yay was doing remember he started doing gospel and all that now he's back to just saying to me it's like I'm saying too much. It's it, it doesn't make sense. Cocaine smells good, bro. <laughs> I just, I only like the smell. Cocaine I only smell. like the smell. But no, cold winter. But here's the thing. Cold winter. Here's the thing. I do agree with D1 a little bit. I do agree with him a little bit, but I am a hypocrite, and I can admit that because I love Pusha T's albums. Yeah. <laughs> I love high what? luxury cocaine rap. I will always tell everyone that. Yes. Pop on some Pusha T or Freddie Gibbs and get out of my fucking face. Yo, exactly. Yo. Okay. Yes. But that's that's their space. That's not Pusha for, T for said, like coaches on the sideline. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yo, we that got nigga, tennis that, balls for the wrong sport. What? I was empowered. When this nigga said the the, the serial <laughs> numbers don't match the gift box. <laughs> like right. when, he, when he was telling yo yo when he was telling people about the prices that you are telling people for these keys now. What where did he do that at? And when he told you, he told you, he said he's only doing features to keep his numbers up. <laughs> like he's telling you, I'm I'm clocking it in right now. I'm just clocking in. That's it. <laughs> And hey, you love it. Hey, I still get a McDonald's check every time someone goes. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. See this now. Now on a hip hop level, this is this is what I will always that's say. The most beautiful thing that could ever happen. Right. Right. I will always say this in hip hop, bro. I don't glorify none of that shit, but I will say this: if you're going to do it, do it right. It's and the problem is, right. we can see it when it's being done wrong. Like I know when, when like, like. Come on, man. You from round the way, bro. I know you went to the goddamn grocery store and opened up a GQ magazine. Now you're looking at different name brands that you can't afford. Because people that can afford it don't talk like that. No talk. Right. But Kanye can afford it. So that's he's what I'm a, saying. He does so, a different. It's, it's like a different. Back in the day, it always felt like a different gloating thing. Yeah, we're going to shut And then your it got very down. verbal. He would be very like, oh, I had lunch with so-and-so and so-and-so. You know, the CEO of Nike, the CEO of Apple. And there's like, nigga, no, nobody know who they are. Yo, I got some perfect this nigga, so, this nigga is so pompous, he's self-conscious. Mm-hmm. That's, oh, that's the whole yeah. thing. He's, because the whole, because he keeps on yelling about all the shit he got and all this shit and I'm the greatest. It's like, can't you just just talk nigga like nigga, like, 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 like come on like you can't you constantly got to bring this shit up all the fucking time like that's you're this now defining thing. yourself as these things hold on i'm yeah. gonna be i'm oh, gonna be yeah, honest is that nigga it probably like wildly 
who he's not the biggest, most muscular fighter, but he's the, the shorter dude standing next to the coolest Nigga. motherfucker. But he got his style from D.C. with the <laughs> polo and all of that shit. He that nigga. If this I don't even on, I don't even want to disagree with you, but he gives off a big wild lake ass nigga. You ain't even yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk shit a about nigga wild that's lake. Quiet. We're on the internet. Don't everybody no, know what no, wild no, lake no, no, no. You, you, you talk got shit about wild lake. Some of my no. fake, my best no. friends are from wild lake. This is like no, no. come on, man. Right. That's not what okay. I'm saying. I got you. I got you. you know I'm we're from not, wild we're lake not, too. Hey, we're not talking about my high school. I'm from Appleton. I always get clowned. We're just gonna put the whole area out there. I can't put the names out there, but it's a general living. You're right, room. Sonny. Yeah. It's like the class of 93. <laughs> okay. Them niggas was I'm like, never there. they be real quiet looking at niggas like this. When they start to open their mouth, be like, oh, shit. The fuck about Kanye is quiet, nigga. Like, come on now. No, 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 Kanye I mean, was no, very just, quiet just, when he know, came keep, out there. He'd be the one standing next to Jay-Z. That was like, college dropout days, man. That's exactly yeah. what I'm talking he about. He was the one days. standing next to Jay-Z asshole, like yo. this. That was college dropout yeah, days. Man. That's what I'm talking about, And I man. know that, but once he crossed over what? to a billion mm-hmm. and everything that he manifested became a reality, he became bored. You money can't does go nothing. back to that. Money does nothing That's but like a millionaire saying, man, let me go back to being poor. Let's turn these goddamn billions into nope. thousands. That's not. That's not. That's no, not what I'm saying. It's about poor. it's about mindset. It's poor. about a uh, money uh, does nothing poor. but magnify who you are. You know what I'm saying? That's he really what it poor. is. Who you were when you, before you had poor. the money? <laughs> when before you had the money is you just more than that and you have more license to be who you are after you get the money so well, you need let me to be tell you like this i don't have oh my god my camera's doing the same <laughs> i give up on this fucking no, shit. jeff dunham everybody the ventriloquist all right that's gonna have to be cut too <laughs> that's all good. anyway Here's i don't thing. have another skit because we're not doing that skit. So whatever the next part of this. No, no, no. Is, we, we, don't worry about it. We, 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 we doing, we're doing just fine. We're doing just fine. We about I'm just to saying get, it's time to get it going. To, it's time to get it going. Cause it's now, we're now a, a good hour in. So. All right. Well, going. I have to answer your original question about Kanye. Okay. Double open-minded guys. When you mentioned, when you mentioned that I felt like he might need assistance, he might need help. It wasn't just about, one of those things, it was the culmination. He can't get shows, so he can't get his money. He's not even allowed to live stream his fucking thing because the second he even mentions something that looks like it might even go in that direction, he gets cut off. Mm-hmm. He didn't say anything specifically that was directly that. And I didn't hear anything after the fact either. And I'm sure people had the shit in the concert. They would have leaked the video by now. When Sometimes the video in the damn cell. Whatever he strong. said later, <laughs> right. because there's apparently a big fight going on between him and his, his wife because she's saying that he wasn't supposed to say anything about it. And first right. of all, and I don't really fuck with his Kim. wife. Like yeah. And he's, <laughs> he's comparing oh, wow. it. And in his songs, he's talking about he's still fucking bitches. That's why I'm saying he raps like a poor person. Like he's glorifying what poor people glorify, fucking a whole bunch of women and doing, you know, just having a couple of dollars to just spend on dumb shit. Like, we don't need that no more from you. I would Kanye. like him we to don't. stop acting like a theater kid. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. <laughs> yo, just you, you saying all this shit and ain't nobody trying to hear that shit from you no more, Kanye. We're not. So what do you want to hear from him? I would rather he's hear gonna shut our whole summer down and his shoes no, are better than I'd ours. rather honestly, I'd rather him <laughs> just go into something else. Would rather I'd rather try to angry. He's I too angry rather, on his shit. I would rather I want him to say I want him to say what he means, but way more poetically. Because it's, what the, the problem is trash. No, no, the problem is that that's what's happening is that he is saying the quiet part out loud all the time. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. The quiet part out loud is like this. If you haven't checked out Kanye shit, please go check it out so you can make your own reference. Assessment. But my opinion, yeah, your own assessment, assessment and make your Let's own all go ass pay this crazy assessment person. because that shit is ass. 
It's fucking ass, well, dude. Well, I'm still going to go listen to it and support Please that do. Brother. Please yeah, do. And bring back out. to me some greatness if you find it. But I'm telling you from my... I took time. I told everybody to shut the fuck up. I put my headphones on and I listened to the shit. That's no like, way I to listen. act in church, good sir. Right, <laughs> it's fucking garbage. So I'm done with Kanye's trash shit right now. Like, he needs to calm it down. But... They need to also stop being so fucking hard well, on him. You know, he's people not, were always you hard let him fuck on, up. They Don't. were always hard on Kanye whenever he came out with something. And most of the stuff, after they finish saying it, it becomes the new trend anyway. Yeah, it's strange okay. but true. Yeah. So we'll they, see they, what happens were, to Kanye, but he does need some help. After 808 and Heartbreaks, yo. After that, that's when it started. And that's when he started beefing with Cuddy. He started everyone. beefing with Dre. You know what I'm saying? He started beefing with everyone. Imagine and that's the when this shit turned face. on him. Imagine Jay Z's kick in the face after Death to Auto Tune, and then that album comes out. Exactly, I feel you. So, I feel you. But the thing is, is oh, that he please, made go this, this shit out. Uh, he, he made like, this. Jay Z, what the fuck is you doing, nigga? <laughs> I'm about to do this shit up. <laughs> I got albums coming. Got so, guys, I, I'm just like I said, we're gonna we're gonna let Kanye be Kanye. But I'm just telling you right now, he's we ain't got a choice. He's taking the shit too fucking far. We do have a choice because he's, to he's to exacerbating it. Like, all right, if people think you're an anti semite. They can think that shit, but don't exacerbate the shit. Don't even say it. Let something you say be that. Don't yeah, just don't come out and say, I'm an anti Semite. Because yeah. they just immediately the cut off. him the fuck off. And, and, and what he was trying to what do, he, was he, trying to do he never got a chance to do. He was trying to get people to stream this fucking thing. That, that was his so money. money. So he lost money on that. He got money from the he got people that sold out of the United Center or the United Center. And he made 19 million from the clothes. Right. And he made a bunch of money. So he's making money, but he's cut off from the larger money. Of what is usually his money maker, without a doubt. Right. These arenas, so, these arenas aren't changing uh, their their cross uh, their cross partnerships. They're not gonna play this game. Right. They're not right. not fucking with him. Damn. And a lot of these arenas, like United Center, have a company name associated with the arena. That's so right. if the company's values don't line up with Kanye shit, he can't do a concert there. So he's he's literally he was on Instagram or some shit, literally begging niggas to help him get concert dates. This nigga pissed off all like, of the stars. And, the and then he pissed pull. off his yeah. agents by sh- and then he pissed off his agents by like showing the potential routing of what it was supposed to be. Right. Once they were like, oh, all these venues are out. I was like, yo, he ain't playing now. He's, he's, so it is what it is. I just got Kanye. some breaking news, by the way. Yeah. Hmm. Tell me. Kanye is definitely poor right now. His net worth is four hundred million. Oh, yeah. oh so, poor guy. So poor. Oh, poor Kanye, so, right? So hungry. So starving, so Scarlett. Starving. Since, since, <laughs> since we're talking Absolutely about changes and, and, and I do have, I do have something, I do have something specific I wanted to bring to you guys before um, I finish up this situation. Uh, Paul, right? Let me wash up first. That, you, you know, yeah, please. Do. <laughs> So, because we are in the month of the history of black, okay? Nice. Uh, <laughs> okay. And I hate to be the, the, the bearer of some bullshit, but this is that's, the purchase of bullshit. That's literally our thing. That's kind of yeah. our thing. You hate so, this? You guys remember back in the day when you used to have permission slips to, like, deal with particular events at school? Yes. You know, yes. field trips, shit like that. Uh-huh. So, now, yes. apparently in Florida, you yeah. need mission slips in order to learn about what? anything oh. that was written by a black author okay. during black history month. Okay. So tell me, how, tell me more it. about how you left Florida again. Yeah. One more time. Hey, 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 okay. I'm all ears. You're, you're, I, okay. Let me explain this. You've further seen them. I'm all ears. <laughs> let me explain it a little bit further. So just so you know what this is, this is literally a permission slip for a child to be in a room to listen to a book written by an African-American. It doesn't specify the book. It doesn't specify what could be in the book that might require a permission slip. It's just a permission slip to have a book written by an African-American read during class. And you know why this is? But the reason why they're doing this is because the teachers in Florida, some of them, not all of them, and the school administration people in Florida, some of not all of them, are assholes oh because okay. it didn't need that was the profound all right yeah, it is what it is it is what it is 
Ron DeSantis, you know I'm not a huge DeSantis fan. That's bullshit. In- you said that was your man plenty of times. You said you liked his, his, his cute white boots when he was doing there walking through the storm. No, I said his <laughs> wife was pretty. <laughs> That's what I said. I said his wife was pretty. I know I said that. I, I, I definitely said that. His he wife said, is he, pretty. He, he said he looked, he, looked, he looked cooler when he had those lifts in his well, shoes. You were a Ron DeSantis champion. No, I said if there was no Trump that Ron DeSantis would be the lead person on the on that Republican side. That's what that's, I said. That's cyborg. I didn't say he was my guy, though. <laughs> I never said that. But a few months ago, he put in this thing called the Stop Woke Act. Mm. Well, it's not really called that. They yeah, always the nickname his shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they always nickname his shit. It's, it's like the parental rights, yeah. you know, and he accountability said Florida Act. is where woke comes to die. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, he doesn't play that shit. So... Pretty much before they were able to do certain curriculums, they had to ask permission when things were kind of a little racy. You know, this particular activity doesn't seem like that's what it was for. It was probably just a book that was literally just written by a black person. Yeah, right? There's nothing slim. in it. <laughs> and, and so the teachers are and they're doing this shit because they have, as you can see, a pre like printed form. And at any point they feel like they want to throw a permission slip out some fucking where they can. So they do it sometimes just to be kind of dicky about it because they don't like the new rules that they do have to get permission to speak about, um, you know, gay situations in class. And there's certain things you do need a permission slip for, but they don't need it for everything. And now they're just kind of being dicks about it because other than Black History Month, they never said anything like this before. That's just crazy. So sad. tell me about how Why you love Florida you again. Speaking about gay situations in class. <laughs> I mean, you laughing? This shit ain't funny. I mean, it is funny. It's real. It's real. That's a thing that apparently they want to cover as like a curriculum. Gay stuff and you know, gay situations. And how, class, you know, what, English, there's nothing wrong math? with it. And if you feel this way, it's fine. And you talking about one on one ratios. <laughs> I mean, three to one. I'm, I'm not three to I'm two. Not you got to have that. a yeah. special membership for that ratio. <laughs> wow. I'm not into it. Me personally, I don't think that we need to have permission slips for everything. Oh, Mick. And in this regard, I did look into this situation and Wood it, shop. it didn't require it. <laughs> it didn't require it. In your ratios, do so, they involve one cup? <laughs> two. So, guys, <laughs> yeah. we, we're also talking about school kids yeah. as well. No, you're I'm talking about questions. school kids. I'm talking Same about class. Topic. I'm just saying, <laughs> inquiring minds want to know. Want to wow. know, Jack. Well, <laughs> Say, cool. I, I know, I know, where you, I know your heart was in, in, the, it was in the complete I, right I place. I was trying. Look, I was trying. Here's the situation. <laughs> you, I'm going to get behind you. And you're going to get behind me and we're going to work this thing out. Is that what they're talking about in that class? <laughs> it's called an elephant. It's called an elephant walk. Oh, okay. you know what? Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. Nah. Wow. <laughs> it would seem to me like y'all would need a permission slip for this that is, shit. Because if is is anything it slips, it better have right some permission. It's, right it's called a pain train or a vein train. <laughs> wow. Nope. 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 Let me see my childhood. Oh, sick guys. Sorry. I'm sorry. I should have got my permission slip before we said all of that. Yeah, you had to. You didn't get your permission slip signed, and you can't. You can't just be going all off the rails. You got to have permission to slip. So in Florida, they are a little different when it comes to what you can and cannot teach. But in this regard, they didn't have to send a permission slip and they just did it because they don't feel like sending permission slips for other shit. And they just wanted to be kind of dicky about it. I wonder so how many parents like got it. mad and said, why can't my kid read more than one loud? It says read a loud. I want to read all the louds. Right. All of them. We gonna smoke that loud after this shit. Oh, fuck. So read all and this, was, this, this was for a teacher that was going to read something during class. But the only thing was... The author was African American. Why did that matter? It's just literature. Because somebody was being a all. dick when they wrote that. You right. can tell by the penmanship so, that whoever right. wrote that was like, oh, okay, yeah, we're going to play mm. this game with y'all. Right, right. 
The so, whole thing is, is that I'm politics got in the way of education. For doing all that. Politics got in the way of education, man. Yeah. We just need to start teaching the kids to stop making where they learn our battlefield of ideas. Just Thank teach you. them to shit. Thank you. And let, them, and let them grow up and make their own decisions, man. Just yeah. teach them the things. Yeah. Just teach yes, them the and, things. And you just know, you can't things. stop bullies. I like the way you said that, Bravo. Just teach them the things. <laughs> right? yeah, teach them the things. I send them to you so they can learn fucking math and shit. Not so they can come in and say, does one boy plus one boy equal one fucking boy or two? You know what I'm saying? I don't oh, you know. That, that reminds me. I, 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 don't went know to, what's going. I went to a summer program. Uh, I went to a summer program. Uh, and like what for, happened there? It, no, it was <laughs> funny. It's all about when you, when, oh, you no. went, when you talked about one boy and one boy, it was so funny. Like, Talking about, I went to HBCU like for a summer program with Morehouse, and even in math class, they were like, "If you have three Morehouse men, and they <laughs> and they join up with four Morehouse men, how many?" I'm like, "Nigga, I'm like y'all so stuck up that y'all use yourselves as like, <laughs> integers." <laughs> like, and then the you add four more Morehouse men. What do you have? You have some shit. I'm not trying to be part you of. You're gonna need you some have. permission slips, <laughs> right? Right. Right, it's not going def- down. You're definitely it's not gonna going need down some like that. permission slips and, cons- and some consent. <laughs> so, <laughs> I need to see signatures. You guys already know. I'm I'm not about the the goofiness when it comes to the education of our children. I, nope. I just don't like it. They can learn about black stuff. They can learn about white stuff. They can learn about Pause. gay situations. Pause. They can learn about a lot. Pause. But most importantly, Pause. I need them to learn how to write, read, mm. and do some damn math. Okay, and because spell. those are the reason that and they're spell. going to and damn it, spell and punctuation. Well, if you can't read, you can't spell. Fair and enough. if you don't, can't spell, children, you can't read. Children don't have bias until we teach them. That's <laughs> that's all it is. Children do not have bias until we teach them that shit. You're and when right we start playing games during their education, that starts making a whole mess. That's all I'm saying. Well, you know, bias can come from life experience too. Like you could just get unfair treatment from a bunch of people that look alike and then you'll start to think oh that's just how they are that's being taught so that. it's not but that's being taught by external stimulus that's not but it's your still parents. being taught that's what i'm saying i'm just saying like yeah, when okay. it, it i'm okay. just saying it's from yeah. experiences like they come in as a blank slate you know what i'm saying they come in because they don't know shit they and they learn just shit. piss all over them pause. 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 Piss all over pause. Them. Yep. Pause. <laughs> i'll see you at the parole hearing r kelly Yo, yeah, I would like right. to give a huge shout out to Miss Ashley Lomax for being here. Thanks for having yes. me. Yes. Great. Oh, the job. queen of God. magnifying. Yes. Don't it's be stranger back. like me. Like, never. Come never. Back next no, I'm serious. You're going to have to come through more often yeah, yeah. because, you, you know, the, the balance that you, uh, you you provide to us is just, just unmatched. Well, it's I unmatched. greatly appreciate it. And I always thank you all for inviting me. I have we a very good time. You. I love y'all. Symmetry. Yeah. Well, say cool, we got all the shades. Say cool, I, I did want to say around. this before we <laughs> got to say over here. Nah, because we talked about Kanye and everything, but honestly, I gotta go, Nick. <laughs> I to well, go. I had to go too. <laughs> but what about but Mohandas Duisi? I wanted to, as you know, I needed to talk about these people. <laughs> <laughs> so I know we all have to go. Yeah, but I want to thank you guys. I want to thank all of the the viewers. Everybody's really helping the podcast grow. I I just got to send some love to them. Yeah. The, the thing is moving, and it's subscribe, just us subscribe, talking about subscribe. what, yeah. what regular like, people comment, talk about. Subscribe. We're just like, people subscribe, in the world. subscribe and like, yeah. comment, yeah, like, subscribe. Hit the buttons and make sure you come back, leave buttons. a comment. Get angry with us. That's cool. We don't mind talking, yeah. talking back and forth. We love a You're great right. debate. That's right. what we're as, 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 as a matter of fact, of have a debate in the comments. Is Post Malone worthy of our adoration? <laughs> leave a Malone. donation, nigga. Hey, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. All right. Look, let's get up out of here, guys, before they come to get us. Because you know how when we start talking online, things start shutting down. That's why your camera was acting up. Yeah. Right. Say good night. Say good Coming for that ass. I'm, oh. I'm out of here. <laughs>